Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really well. It's time I try Raise the Rue. I feel like I've seen this all over TikTok. Everyone has asked me to try it. I have loved trying Colorwell products and so this felt like the natural next product to try. Honestly, some of the results I've seen on TikTok have been incredible and so I wanted to try this out for myself. I feel like for me in particular, my hair sits very flat to this like scalp of my head and so for me any volume products that I get I always want to try out and see how well they work because my hair just does not hold volume. It's saying it's the cure for flat hair and I've watched so many videos in terms of the hacks on using this, how to get best results, what I should be doing to like maximize the way it works and all of those things so I'm going to put those to the test today. I'm going to share with you what this recommends to do, how to use it, the promises and let's see how well this works. My hair is freshly washed and so let's give this a try. So if you're curious to see how Raise the Root from Colorwell works, this is the video for you. It says on the bottle, Raise the Roots Clear Flexible Formula forms a thickening spring around strands for instant and long lasting lift, body and fullness. Powerful elasticizers keep hair soft and aloft, never sticky, hard or brittle, contains unique clear flexible polymers that won't yellow or darken so colours stay true. It does say here spray onto damp hair making sure to concentrate application at the roots, style as desired, may also be used on dry hair for instant lift and shape. I saw all of the TikToks I saw was like, no, use it on dry hair, you're gonna get the best results. And so that's why I've dried my hair for the start of this video. This is 150 ml of product and I think I paid near around 20 pounds for this. So it's quite expensive in terms of volume in product, but equally if it works, I'm here for it. I'm someone that I always forget to style my bangs like on a work day and things, but if I do, I love getting that volume but I just don't find it last throughout the day. So what I wanted to do is just put this to test across like the top of my scalp and just see how well it works generally and then continue using it and then give you maybe a bit of an update in terms of how I've continued to use it as time has gone on. But today it's a first impressions and I am so excited. Basically just take small sections and the wisdom of TikTok has basically convinced me that you should spray three times on each section, which feels like a lot of product. Let me just get it so it works. But apparently you need lots of this for it to work. So let me just work backwards. And I'm spraying this directly at my root. So that's really saturated. Okay, so that's all of my roots. I'm just gonna go around my hairline. Right, let's see how this goes. So what you could do is take a brush and really work that in. I'm gonna try and blow dry downwards and see if that works on my hair. This might be a bit of an experiment, but I'm thinking that should work in the same way. Let's give it a try. Okay, so using this on a first impression basis, I've definitely got more volume in my hair, especially considering at the beginning of this video, I didn't. I know I could get more by going in with a round brush and that's obviously great to know. I'm definitely gonna do that when it comes to styling like my bangs and just really encouraging that. 
But my only worry was that when I was drying this is that it's a very like sticky, I can feel it on my fingers now, it's a very like sticky, weighty product. And so I didn't think it was actually gonna like dissolve into my hair. It felt like it was gonna like stay behind. It's made, you can tell there's product like in my root now, which isn't like the nicest feeling. So it's not particularly weightless, but it's just like a texture spray where it adds that grit. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a go with a round brush. But the more I'm like play around with it, I felt like I'd got all of that like dissolved, but I can still feel that product in. And now I've played around with it, I've probably lost all of that volume. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with a round brush the next time and try it out again because I don't think that this is like, I was hoping to rough dry it, I was gonna get some great results and just be a bit of an easy way to add like all over volume but I don't think that's the case I think this is going to be very specific to when you're styling and you're going in and giving yourself more of a blowout which for me I don't often do to be honest with you yes I'll style my bangs but I was hoping I could have got like all over volume and then kind of styled in that way I've definitely got some volume but the way it's made my hair feel is a little bit crispy and so, yeah, I think that this is gonna be a bit of a work in progress and continue trying it in loads of different ways. So I am also gonna try this on wet hair too, just to compare the differences in my own hair. But watching the TikTok videos, I had hoped for a more dramatic result doing it in this way because I've seen people use it in exactly this way and get really lifted root. And for me, I don't know, I'm not particularly loving the result because it's just made my hair like I've just washed my hair and it's just feeling a bit crusty. Um, so yeah, that feeling's not my favorite. It might mean that I just use slightly less on my hair the next time. All of this is a bit of a learning curve, but so far, don't see the hype on first impressions, but let me continue using this. I'll give you guys an update once I've continued using it and found a way where I get those TikTok levels of results because I'm sure I can achieve it just not by kind of the rough drying and that, which is such a shame because that's a way I use other texturing products that work really effectively at maintaining more of a lift in that area. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. How do you guys use this to get best results? Is it a case of really direct in styling this? Because that's the impression I'm getting here. But yeah, it's one of those, it's a shame but I'm gonna continue trying it. So let me know your hacks, your tips. I love watching TikToks about this, and so I was really confident that the result was gonna be a little bit more dramatic than it is right now. But that's why we try, and sometimes things on TikTok don't look as easy as they kind of promise. So yeah, that's my first impressions of this product, but let me continue using it. I'll do an updated video once I found the perfect way to get those results with my hair type, but so far, not quite what I wanted it to be but yeah that's all from today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye